Hello, uh, this is Bajahat Nazir, and now I am uploading uh, fourth example on hypothesis testing. So, uh, look at the question. A chemical pollutant in the Genesee River has been constant for uh, several years with a mean mu 34 ppm parts per million and a standard deviation sigma 8 ppm. A group of factory representatives whose companies discharge liquid into the river is now claiming that they have a lowered the average with improved filtration devices. A group of environmentalists with, uh, will test to see if this is true at the 1% level of significance, assuming that their sample of size is 50, gives a mean of 32.5 ppm, perform a hypothesis test at the 1% level of significance and state your decision. I have already written out uh, the level of significance alpha values 0 0.10, 1.28, 0.05 is 1.64, 0 0.025 and so on. And whatever uh, level of significance will be required, we will take it from the table. Now, let's start uh, with making, first of all, we will develop a hypothesis. So, first of all, let me develop a hypothesis in which we have one H0, another one, the H0 is known as null hypothesis and HA is alternative hypothesis. Okay. So HA will be our mu, the claim, the claim is equals to 34. And now what factory is saying that the 34 is decreased. So we will check. We will check that whether their claim what they are saying because mu is 34 and now they are saying that mu is decreased. So we will check it. Mu is less than 34. So this will be a one-sided one-tailed test. Now let me develop it. Uh, let me develop the figure at 1% level of significance. So 1% level of significance we will draw like this. Uh, this will be the rejection region. This will be alpha. Alpha is 1% and 1% means let me uh, do the calculator because I don't want to do any mistake. Alpha is 0 0.01. This is 0 0.01 and we will put a critical value over here. What is the critical value? 0 0.01 has the value of 2.33. 2.33. As it is a left side test, so this will be the negative. We will take it as a negative figure. So minus 2.33 is the Z critical value. This is the Z critical a value and now what we do the remaining the remaining 99 percent which is 1 minus alpha confidence level this is the acceptance region for this is the acceptance region for h naught and this is the rejection region. This is the rejection region for H0. Now we will write down the um, data and we will perform the test. So what is the data? Definitely in data we have to perform the uh, Z test. So Z is equals to X bar minus mu over sigma over root N. We have, we have, let me write down the data over here, the x bar, uh, the sample mean is 32.5, n is 50, standard deviation, standard deviation, where is the standard deviation? It is 8 and mu is equals to 34. So now we Put these values in x bar 32.5 minus 34 
over sigma sigma is 8 over root n is 50 now I will complete it in one shot because I have a scientific calculator so 32.5 32.5 minus 34 divided by 8 divided by root 50. So this is the z value is equals to minus 1.3258. Okay. And uh, just to be sure, let me do it again. 32.5 minus 34 is minus 1.5 over 8 divided by root 50 will give 1.13 so minus 1.5 uh, divided by 1.13 will be minus 1.327 yeah we are taking this value because this is more accurate I was just checking uh, so uh, this is the value of z value now we put this z value in our here so what do you think this is minus 2.33 so any value which is greater than this value will h naught will be rejected so we have a value of minus 1.325 so minus 1 minus 1.3258 this is the v calculated value this is the v Calculated value, so H naught will not be rejected, will not be rejected, so accept H naught. So what we do, accept H naught. That's all, that's all, this is the uh, fourth example, I uh, keep continuing posting the example, so everyone will get a uh, better idea about hypothesis testing. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Take care. Take care. Bye.